this man has given up his job, his family and his possessions to run away and live on a secluded island paradise. A paradise made from plastic bottles. It's taken me uh, two and a half years from the beginning, from the first bottle collection to get to this point now. And I'm quite happy with the progress. It was over two years ago, Richie Sower gave up his job as a carpenter and moved to Mexico in search of a simpler life. He made his way to the sandy shore of Cancun. He started collecting bottles for cash. And that's when he came up with an unbelievable idea. To build himself an island he could claim as his own. The collecting of the bottles, I started by hand first, just going round the the local town, picking them up. Have a great day. Cheers. See ya. Thanks. This floating island is the length of a tennis court. Richie gathered thousands of bottles and started stuffing them in fish nets to create a foundation. Well, this is the sum total of three years' work. It took me the first six months just to get a base which was about, that's about 15 meters across and about 20 meters long. It took me about four months to get a base of around seven or eight meters and then I started putting plants on. Richie placed bamboo and plywood on top of the foundation of bottles, paddling back and forth every day, scooping sand off the shore to build his own private beach. But the biggest challenge was trying to grow plants on the plastic bottle barge. These are mangroves that were planted just a few months ago and they're growing really, really well. You can feel how... These are mangroves that were planted like four or five months ago. They've got stems on them now like trees, palm trees. This will be a lemon tree. Today, this real-life survivor is totally self-sufficient. Growing bananas, coconuts, spinach, almonds and tomatoes on his island. He's even built a solar cooker. He collects rain to water the plant and he even made a washing machine out of a plastic drum that rolls in the waves. This is one island castaway who never needs to leave. If the truth be told, Richie's not alone on the island. We have quite a few inhabitants on the island at the moment. It's me, my cat Bonita and my second cat Easy, the little dog Rainbow. Two chickens, Brownie and Blackie, and the duck, the heart of the island, Coruscant. This bobbing island of bottles has proven to be quite seaworthy as well, surviving two hurricanes and several tropical storms. And now even the Mexican government wants to recognize the private paradise, declaring the island as Mexican soil for tourists to visit. But Richie has another idea for his paradise. Every day, he adds bottles to make his island bigger. His goal is to one day float out to sea and eventually drift around the world on the island he built with his own two hands. One day, we will sail out on the ocean and become a small floating country.